Hello, welcome to um, my first tutorial uh, showing you how to uh, generate dialogues within OpenOffice using the Python bridge. Um, I'm using KDE, so my file manager right here you're seeing is Dolphin. And the first thing we need to do to um, call the within OpenOffice is actually not use OpenOffice at all. We will actually go to our um, open office folder which is hidden in our home directory and then we will be able to go to our settings uh, user settings that is uh, within the user settings we will go to a folder uh, a directory called scripts and then we will go to a, a new folder called python within the python directory we can actually generate our scripts that will run within our open office environment as you can see here, we have Dialog3, which is also available on our OpenOffice, uh, in this case Calc, but it could be any module in OpenOffice. We can go to Python, and we will be able to see the dialog right here. And then, we'll talk about this later. Um, we open the file. We use uh, our favorite editor. In this case, I'm running uh, in Vim. So, of VI, and this is a GUI version of VI, and um, we have it right here, and we can see our code. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to explain it. The first line is uh, to import the OpenOffice API, mm -hmm. then we generate our function, we call it my dialog. then these two lines are pretty important, these are to get the context, uh, of the document and the second one to get our service managers which is what we will need to access internal objects within the API. Now this will be used for any type of Python code but now we're going to use specific ones for our GUI. As you can see we, this is the third line which uh, we create instantiate uh, the create instantiate service uh, the interface com.sound.star.awt uh, if you ever code it in Java uh, this is similar to the AWT library to generate GUIs uh, OpenOffice just happens to have the same name and we use the unit control dialog model which as far as the forum explained it to me is used to uh, as a template for our dialogs we can specify uh, things like width and height as well as titles and other uh, characteristics of a dialog and then uh, the third line, the eighth, the eighth line, we will uh, create a new service called Unicontrol Dialog and Unicontrol Dialog is the actual dialog this one was like the template and the properties the third one is the actual dialog and the way we connect uh, the first service with the second one is we use the set model in order to uh, uh, bind those two services then we perform the set visible um, and the true which is a boolean uh, value so we set it to, two, to true and we finally execute it now with this we will be able to uh, to basically run a script within OpenOffice and uh, you will see a plain dialog with the values uh, that we set up which in this case will just be the width and height in Windows uh, if you don't have these values you will get a really tiny dialog that will be invisible almost invisible uh, however here we can have uh, the measurements that we put on the code that will be all thank you very much see you in the next one